welcome to another edition of Social Distance Workouts. This is episode 16. And in honor of the 4th of July weekend where most people would be heading to the beach right now and playing on the sand, we're gonna do a sand workout. So what I'm gonna do is just three exercise circuits and each circuit is gonna have three exercises. So three circuits, three exercises. It should probably take me about 15 minutes. If you wanna do just 15 minutes, then just do this circuit each circuit one time through. If you want to do 30 minutes or 45 minutes, then do them twice or three times. And have fun and be safe. So the first exercise, we're going to get into a plank and then we're going to do a, a T rotation, 10 reps per side. And there's your first exercise. Remember to breathe in and out. Try to keep your butt down. I don't even know what my butt looked like, but I'm gonna find out as soon as I go back through this video. The second exercise is gonna be an alternating rear lunge. So we're gonna alternate legs each time. We're gonna do a double bounce, 10 per side. Show you what it looks like. There you go. So make sure that you're touching that back knee each time and you're basically doing two rear lunges per rep. This third exercise in the first circuit, um, I'm not gonna say is everybody's favorite, but it's one of mine. And since I'm making the video, I get to pick the exercises. This is a deceleration push-up. So we're gonna go nice and slow every rep. We're gonna go as slow as we can on the down. That's three. Remember to get real powerful on that way back up. You're gonna go slow with control and then you're gonna power up.
Last one. Nice and slow. Try to get to a 10 or 15 second count on the down. Good job, that's your first circuit. All right, so that's your first circuit. You have plank with a T-spine rotation, alternating rear lunges with a double bounce on each leg, and then deceleration push-ups. So you're gonna take a 30 second break if you're gonna go through the circuit again. Make sure that you take 30 second breaks in between each time. And then if you do all three times through, make sure you take a two minute break before the next circuit. Make sure you drink water also. to switch things up so I'm gonna do round two of the first circuit and I'm gonna switch up the first exercise so the first time through we just did a plank with a T rotation second time through we're gonna do an inchworm with that T rotation so five inchworms ten rotations you'll see what I mean All right, here we go for the second exercise. Remember, this is the second time through, first circuit. We do rear lunges, we alternate each leg, excuse me, we alternate each leg, each rep. Make sure we do that double bounce every time. Make sure you touch that back knee.
the third exercise, deceleration push-ups. Let's do three more. Sorry, I lost count. Third time through, here we go. Inchworms, T-spine rotation. Right to that second exercise.
Last exercise of the first circuit, deceleration push-ups. Try to hold that rep as long as you can on the down, power on the up. This third exercise in the first circuit, um, I'm not gonna say is everybody's favorite, but it's one of mine. And since I'm making the video, I get to pick the exercises. This is a deceleration push-up. So we're gonna go nice and slow every rep. We're gonna go as slow as we can on the down. three. Remember to get real powerful on that way back up. You're going to go slow with control and then you're going to power up. Last one, nice and slow. Try to get to a 10 or 15 second count on the down. So if this, is your, if this is your very first sand workout, you probably realized after the first couple reps of the very first exercise that sand doesn't give you a whole lot of return properties because it's not a solid surface to push off of, but it's also unstable because it's shifting all the time. So I noticed that I was having to kind of recenter myself, especially on those inchworms when I would stand up because that sand is not flat and level underneath my feet, which is actually a positive for this type of workout because it really fires up other stabilizers in your joints that you wouldn't normally have firing when you're working out on a very hard, smooth, stable surface. So take advantage of the sand when you can. It is one of the most strenuous but satisfying and effective workouts that you can possibly do. So we took a two minute break in between that first and second circuit. So we're gonna get ready for circuit two. And the three exercises in here are gonna be a double bounce squat with a jump. And obviously you'll see what I mean when I do it. The second exercise is gonna be frisbee digs. If you don't have a frisbee, you can just do Russian twists. And then the third exercise is a reverse plank. That means we're gonna be doing a bridge, but we're gonna be doing it backwards. And you're gonna be doing alternating leg lifts. So I'll show you the very first exercise. Let's get going. This is a double bounce squat with a jump, 10 reps. go right into the frisbee digs. So, 
handy frisbee here. It's going to be obliques and it's also going to act like I'm actually rowing but I'm pulling the sand with the frisbee. We're going to do 10 per side. So you're going to hook your ankles. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I've never done this before, but I'm very unstable, like I said, because the sand is shifting underneath me. So I'm going to try another set and see if I can stay more stable. really want you to pull that sand, okay? Show you what it looks like from the other side. Okay, I was not expecting that to be so hard. I hope you have a frisbee. If you don't, just do Russian twists. Okay? All right, the last exercise is a reverse plank with alternating leg, leg lifts. So here's your reverse plank. So that was 10 kicks per leg. All right, we're gonna go back to the beginning. We're gonna do that double bounce squat with a jump for 10 reps. Okay, right to frisbee digs or Russian twists. And then reverse plank with leg lifts. Second time through, we're headed to the third round. Take a 30 minute break. We're headed to the third round of the second circuit.
right, we're back for the final round of Frisbee digs. 10 per side. Really get a hole in the dirt, okay? Dig all the way through. And then last round of reverse planks with a leg lift. If you noticed in the last round I did two different variations because I got cramps in my hamstrings. So I'm going to continue to do my bent knee but if you want a tougher challenge do them with your legs straight. job finishing round two. Take a two minute break. We'll come back for the third and final circuit. Two minute break. Drink lots of water, okay? All right, congratulations on making it through the first two rounds. This third round is also going to have three exercises and I'm going to show you what they are. I'll tell you right now, the first one is going to be a lateral lunge with a touch and a stretch. And we're going to alternate sides. So we're going to do 10 per right side, 10 per left side. We're not going to alternate. 10, stay on the same side for 10, switch, 10 on the other side. Then we're going to do some abs and core stability work. We're going to do scissor kicks. We're going to go north to south with our legs. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go north to south, <laughs> north to south, then we're gonna go east to west, and then we're gonna do some reverse bicycles. And then for the third exercise, we're gonna do a bear crawl in the sand because isn't that what you put on your to-do list when you were packing for your vacation and you were writing your to-do list? You said, with a big star beside it, make sure we do bear crawls on the beach. So you're welcome. All right, here's the first exercise. It's gonna be a lateral lunge with a touch and then a reach. Here we go for the ab work. Remember, we go north to south, then we go east to west, and then reverse bicycles.
right, here we go for the second round. Remember, you're gonna lunge. You really wanna reach to that outside of that outside foot, and then reach as far as you can the other direction. Here we go, 10 per side. Get ready to switch sides. We're gonna to go to the opposite direction now. Here we go with that ab work. Remember, north-south, 20 count. East-west, 20 count. Reverse bicycles, 20 count. After those bear crawls, you definitely deserve a 30 second break, especially before getting ready to do the very last circuit. All right, let's be finishers, let's be finishers, let's be finishers, like always. Round three of the third circuit. That means we're in the home stretch, friends. All right, we're gonna do those lateral lunges with a touch and then a reach. We're gonna do those north to south scissor kicks, east to west scissor kicks, reverse bicycles, and then that last round of bear crawls. You'll have to forgive me for the sirens in the background. It looks like everything's okay, maybe it's just a precaution, but just play some really nice music in your head, okay? Get ready to switch sides. We're going the other direction now. that I'm never gonna wear.
Let's crawl home. I'm so happy for you that you decided to do this with me. I honestly do feel like I'm not in this alone. I know that we're all in this together. Congratulations on making the decision to get up and move your body. And remember, if you can, stay home and always stay fit. Yeah.